So this is how I woke up this morning. Not really sure exactly what's going on, but obviously I'm gonna go to the doctor like immediately. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is not a video that I would normally make. You guys know I post normally travel content and vlogs and flight attendant stuff. But I also like to keep it real with all of you. I like to like update you on my normal life, my daily life, and life outside of this crazy world of traveling and being a flight attendant. So today I have a little story time slash vlog. There's gonna be some like vlog footage in here of like everything that's been going on. <sighs> so this has been like a really weird week. I need to figure out where to start. But I feel like to start, we need to go back to summer 2021. Summer 2021, I was still working at my last airline. At that point in my career, I was able to hold like whatever I wanted. So I was doing a lot of Miami, a lot of Fort Lauderdale, a lot of like Caribbean layovers. I noticed I had this little spot on my side and it looked like this little patch of eczema, maybe like the size of a quarter, like these little dots. They looked just like the size of eczema. And I remember this was the exact trip where I noticed it for the first time when I was in Fort Lauderdale. Super small, I just chalked it up to being eczema. When I was a child, I had eczema really bad and I still suffer from really sensitive skin. So I only use like certain types of body wash and stuff and like certain shower products that I know aren't gonna cause my skin any irritation. So I chalked it up to being eczema and then it kind of just stayed the same. I really didn't think much of it. I kind of just like left it alone. And then over the last six months, I've noticed that the little spot has gotten a little bit bigger. I've been kind of getting concerned, but it's been really hard to get into a dermatologist's office. If you're not familiar, sometimes it can take months to see a dermatologist. So recently I've noticed it's getting bigger and bigger and I'm like, okay, I really need to get a dermatologist. I have to figure out what's going on. Then I went to Pride with my airline this last week and the next morning I woke up and I was horrified. I was literally horrified. So this is how I woke up this morning. Not really sure exactly what's going on, but obviously I'm gonna go to the doctor like immediately. I was so scared. I didn't know what was going on with my skin. I didn't know if I was having an allergic reaction. I have terrible anxiety. So my first thought was, oh my God, I have skin cancer. I didn't know what was happening. I was freaking out. I was so scared. I texted my mom and I was kind of like nonchalant about it. I said, I have this really bad rash and I'm kind of freaking out. Should I go to MedExpress or should I just go to the dermatologist? It's been there for a while, but it's been very small. And I just thought it was an eczema patch, but it got huge all of a sudden. And she was just like naming off some things it could be and then she was like I wouldn't panic or go to like the doctor though and I said it's bad <laughs> and then I sent her pictures of my skin and she said oh shit yeah you should go to the doctor so I had a turn that day and I was like do I call out sick what do I do then I'm like really psyching myself out I'm getting more and more freaked out about like what's going on so I drive myself to the doctor immediately I'm gonna insert all that footage here for you I'm just calling to see if you have any um, last minute openings today for an appointment hi I know it's last minute but do you happen to have any last minute appointments today is there any chance you could squeeze me in at all today all right thankfully i found somewhere to go get checked out real quick through work i'm gonna go inside now and see what's going on i'm like so stressed out i have a trip today <sighs> hopefully i can get this all sorted out quickly and hopefully everything is fine so they were able to determine what was going on with my skin they said i have a condition it's pretty common i don't personally really know anyone that has it there's been a couple people since i talked about this on Instagram that have like messaged me and said oh my god I suffer from this too or I've had this in the past and it's a condition called tinea versicolor and I'm gonna read you the exact definition because I don't want to mess it up tinea versicolor is a common fungal infection of the skin the fungus interferes with the normal pigmentation of your skin resulting in small discolored patches of skin the patches may be lighter or darker in color than the surrounding skin and the most commonly affected areas are the trunk of your body and shoulders so people that suffer from tinea versicolor color often get these patches on their skin like you've seen that I have they can either lighten your skin color they can be red in color they can be darker in color and it's non contagious it's not really anything crazy it doesn't really affect your health that much it's mostly just kind of like a self-conscious thing like I said you can't give somebody tinea versicolor so if you were to like come ew, if you were to like come like touch it on my side 
Like you're not gonna get it, which is why John doesn't have it. And that's kind of like why I was confused too. I'm like, well, John doesn't have this. And you would think like I sleep next to him at night. If I had something here, obviously it would pass to him, right? And another thing about having Tinea Versicolor is it's not like itchy, it's not flaky, it's not like anything. It's just, your skin is just a different color in that area. So it's really not this huge thing, but obviously it's really scary because it started to spread. And I mean, it blew up overnight on my body. And then it also spread to my stomach, my like nipple area, and then also up on my collarbone as well. So that was another thing that freaked me out. I was like, well, whatever this is, is spreading. I need to go to the doctor immediately. I'm actually really happy that, thank God, thank God, thank God, thank you, Lord, that it's not skin cancer. I have, like I said earlier, I have really bad anxiety and that's my first thought. I'm like, oh my God, what if I have skin cancer and now I've let this go for so long and now it's stick terrible. And I'm thankful that it's not anything that's gonna like hurt my health or like hurt my body. So it's been just really crazy. And now I'm on a treatment plan for the next two weeks. It's a combination of a twice daily cream treatment and then a certain type of soap in the shower. It's actually a type of shampoo, but you actually just put it on the affected area where you have the Tinea Versicolor and it's supposed to help it as well. I just stopped by the pharmacy to get my prescription filled. This is the medicine if you are curious. This is like kind of embarrassing, but you know, I put my whole life out here. They actually recommended that I buy this anti-dandruff shampoo and put some of that on the affected area once a day before I get in the shower. They said that can really help with it. So we're gonna try this out today. And then once I complete that, I have to do around, I think it's two weeks of some kind of like pill. I don't know if it's like an antibiotic or what it is. And that's supposed to help as well with clearing up the Tinea Versicolor. But the doctor did tell me it's pretty common for Tinea Versicolor to continue to come back. And a lot of people do struggle with it for like a lot of their life. So I do kind of plan on having to deal with this situation again. Like I said, I'm just thankful that it doesn't affect my health. It's just a cosmetic thing. So I do have to plan for this to happen again. And the thing about Tinea Versicolor is it does take a long time to bring back the natural skin pigmentation that I have. From what the doctor said and what I've seen other people say, the timeline is around like three to six months for your skin to return back to normal to get rid of all the pigmentation and spots on your skin. I'm shooting for the six month mark. Hopefully by six months, my skin will return back to normal. So hopefully around like December, January timeframe I will be able to feel more comfortable in my skin because I'm not someone who really cares that much what people think about me but I feel awkward in like certain situations because if I were to go to the beach or the pool like it's so noticeable and like I said I don't care what people think about me but I feel like when people see that it almost like scares them away they think I have something wrong with me or something contagious I don't want to scare people and I don't want people to judge either and and then, this is like so vain of me to say, and I shouldn't even put this in here, and it's like such a first world problem, like spoiled brat problem, but I'm someone who loves to go to the chiropractor, and after I go to the chiropractor, I like to get a massage, but I just feel like uncomfortable taking my shirt off now with that there, because I don't want them to be like, I don't want to touch that, like, you know what I mean? Like, but I'm not going to complain about it. I'm not going to sit here and boohoo, because I could have it a lot worse. This is totally the best possible scenario. It's not affecting my health. I'm so thankful for that. I don't take that for granted at all. Like that's like the best news I could have ever asked for with this. But I really wanted to make this video because I feel like when I first found out that I had Tinea Versicolor, there wasn't that many people who talked about having it online. I saw a couple YouTube videos. I saw a ton of like doctor videos, but I didn't see anyone with like a first hand account of like what was going on. So I just felt like I should like sit down and talk about it. And like I said, I love to be an open book. I put my whole life out here on the internet for you. This is something that I'm currently going through and I don't want to keep you guys in the dark. I just like to put my whole life out here. I like to feel like we're connected, we're friends, we're a big family in this community. That's everything that's going on. I will try my best. I probably won't make another like dedicated video about this, but I will uh, try my best to keep you updated in my normal flight attendant vlogs, my travel vlogs, everything like that of how things are going, if it starts to clear up, what's going on with my skin, when my skin hopefully returns back to normal. And if for whatever reason it doesn't go away and it, my skin is pigmented like that forever, it is what it is. And that's just part of who I am. I won't let anybody judge me and I'm still Hunter Lee Haas and you can't take that away from me. So thanks for watching. I usually say like share this video with a friend, but this is like kind of niche. So potentially share this video with a friend if you want. Leave me a comment down below. I love to talk to you guys down in the comments about everything. You guys know I respond to all your comments, good, bad, ugly, whatever. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.